Or I know Chandler and Courtney, they only clean for the pretty people. They clean a whole house, a white linen carpet that's got one little uh, gray poupon stain on it. Well, here's the real wordle for you uh, Nancy Boy cleaners there in Atlanta. So uh, we're going to blast it here with some Pro Chem Power Burst, world's strongest pre spray. Hit it with a uh, brand new red pad. Scrub the bejesus out of it. We're going to try the old 13 inch zipper. If not, we'll resort to the Devastator. So, step one pre spray and lots of it. Trulson over there working the magic with the 175. Uh, let me show you uh, how much you got to hose this stuff down. And good thing about working here in the high desert, it doesn't matter how much spree spray you put down, it's still going to be dry in four hours. So I'm going to do two slow passes on each tile. Hopefully you can see that these are carpet tiles. And just to make sure I put enough, I bring over my special Cymex shoes and give it a good scrubbing to see if it comes clean. There you go. All right. Onward and downward. What Damon's doing here is encapsulation cleaning, or low moisture, or bonnet cleaning. He's grinding the dirt in and making it look better. And if we just, if that's all we did, the customer's going to come in and say, oh, it looks better. Obviously, we'd hit it with an absorbent pad versus a red pad, but I call him Dam Damon. Derek. Don't mind him, he's deaf. Anyhow, here's that spot. So, we're going to do this in three segments. This area, kind of back here of the wall, and then around the corner. And let's go see what we're hooked up to. So we got a 50 footer, a two and a half, out to this sweet Ram Promaster. Whip! World's most badass truck mount. All you need. Derek, not Damon, running the 13 inch six flow zipper, steaming mad at dirt. Looking pretty good, huh? Most part, it's needing two passes. It's melting it out. It's a little toasty out today, as you can see. That's helping that give the old heat exchanger some extra pep. I don't know, man. That's a lot of steam escaping that head. Pretty sure the Bonzer or the Wanzer doesn't do that. Don't have a heart attack, Eric. I'm just shitting you. Pardon my French. As you can see, we're running the weight on there. Helps it hold down. Hold down nice and flush on this rather bumpy carpet. You can really feel the subfloor, the concrete subfloor on this thing. Just imagine what the water is going to look like coming out of that tank. So, yeah. Probably not the best. Uh, Best carpet to do low moisture on. That's a lot of fun coming out of there. A little devastator action. We're uh, a little slower than the zipper, but more familiar and comfortable and easier getting the corners and do the uh, carpet on the the, stiff, the uh, chair bases there. Don't ever let anybody tell you that a 370 doesn't get warm. And we 
we're seeing that it's doing more in one pass. Even though it's lesser flow, it's probably the heat chamber effect combined with the weight. I mean, it's way heavier. Keep in mind, I'm doing this one-handed. But uh, the first pass with the Devastator is only getting like 50%. And first pass with the zipper is probably doing 80% or so. Having to dual pass everything. But because of the weight, uh, dry strokes aren't as critical with the zipper. Pretty good, huh?